Hello everybody, uh, Mark here, back on another adventure. Um, it's been a bit since I've been with you. Um, I did take a contract for harvesting sugar beet. Um, I'm just taking the tractor and the trailer up now. Uh, it's on 53. Uh, the, the harvest is not full just quite yet, but I thought I'd run down uh, take a little break from harvesting, take a run down and grab the tractor and the trailer and bring her up. Um, I thought about paying someone to do that, but then I was like, oh, I'm going to just do it myself. Uh, so let's go here. Um, the last time I seen you guys, I had about 60 grand. Uh, I did spend a little bit of money, had some issues with a couple of the things, but that's fine. Oh, might as well just pause it right here, turn the tractor off. Uh, the harvester was 49% on one trip up, so it's probably gonna be 100% on this trip back. So that's why I leave the tractor there. Um, I didn't like the, well, I like the, the chicken coop that I had, the chicken pen, but it didn't have a building. And I noticed that a, a new, uh, chicken coop had come out uh, brand new so I thought I'd go and get that uh, the one I had cost me six grand uh, but when I sold it I got just under half it was like 25 2600 uh, the new one cost me 10 grand which now it holds 80 chickens and it's got place uh, for them to go inside and out of the cold which I kind of like better uh, it's actually a little smaller area, but that's fine. They have, like I said, they have a couple pens, and uh, well, you'll see it anyway. By the time the the day's done, I'll take a run up and show you. Um, I bought a side by side, so I can uh, ferry feed back and forth from my silo over to the chicken pen. Um, it's the Mahindra side by side. Uh, it only carries five, just under 500 liters of feed, so it's a few trips back and forth, which is no big deal. Uh, the chicken pen has, still has the six chickens, the three chicks and the rooster. Uh, I rented a, a cage so I can get them out of the pen, tear the other one down, rebuild the new one, put them in, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so this... I started this about uh, 11.30 or so. Uh, it's probably gonna take me a, quite a while. Uh, if you want, you can sit with me here for a bit and we'll just kind of chit chat and get to get up to speed and everything. And then I just might let you guys go and and uh, get on with it and see how long it takes me. And when, yeah, actually I think I'll do that. Well, I'll do a couple strips, I guess. I can't make my mind up today. Yeah, so we're just under 30, just over 31 grand now. Um, this contract, I borrowed the equipment, and when it gets all done and said, should be... Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Turn on harvester. There we go. Yeah, so uh, sh this contract will give me... Right around 30 grand minus the maintenance fees, I think. So, maintenance fees were 1700. I'm not sure now. So yeah, so far it's not raining. Doesn't look like there's any rain in the forecast, which is good. It's the last couple times I've talked with you, so there was rain. Uh, what else is new? Um, got the Mahindra, got the new chicken coop, the chickens. Get them fed up. Uh, oh, I had a bit of an issue getting the chicken feed out of the asylum with the manger. I'm not sure if the uh, thing was was uh, blocked or not, but it seems like it's working now. Doesn't it's not wide, but it's long. Like I said, 50% of this harvest was full by the time I got up one strip. So I imagine it'll fill up by the time I get down to the bottom. 
If not, I just might empty it anyway, just to get it done over with. And hopefully, I can pick up the little bits and pieces that I miss. Hopefully, I don't miss too much, though. Uh, as far as the sugar beet, I think I just might sell it. Uh, I currently have no use for it. Um, I'm not even sure. Well, it turns into I can turn it into sugar if I own a sugar mill. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I'd probably just sell it. Try to make it at least make up the leasing fees or the maintenance costs for the um, the the equipment here. Yeah, funny. I uh, oh yeah, I went and leased a trailer. Took my pickup truck down to the shop, and it wouldn't actually connect. It was, I'm not sure why it wouldn't connect, but we had uh, the um, trailer. The trailer had a, the right connections for the truck, but the truck just wouldn't connect to it. I'm not sure why. So I had to. Excuse me. Um, so I had to return that, and that's when I decided to buy the Mahindra and drive that up to the sh my farm. And uh, I haven't had a good morning so far. I've had coffee, so that's good. Yeah, we're at ninety-five percent done. I don't know if I'm going to get this strip done before I get. To the tractor. And we're at 90% done there now. I'm take the cruise control off. I'm just gonna. Oh, there we go. Back up just a bit so we know. Okay. Uh, put the pipe out. Get into the tractor. Nice tractor, it's got four wheel drive on it. Come on, come on. Warm up. Here we go. Now, let's see if this will get in underneath a bit. Oh, yeah, lots of room. Okay, right, we'll shut that off. Is that going to fill that trailer? Wow, that's a discouraging. Wow. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, back in the tractor. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we'll have to take this down and drop the load and come back up and grab some more. Well, in that case, what I think I'm going to do is let you guys go. I'm going to put away at this and when I get the contract almost done or whatever, I'll come back to this. Hello there. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it's been a day. Uh, so I've got the, the field all emptied, just down here, finishing the last little bit. Um, so I ended up going and renting out a, a larger um, trailer, so I wouldn't take so many runs back and forth. Um, as you can see down the bottom there in the, in the screen, shows that I have uh, 648 liters left in this thing, in this bucket. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The trailer I had, I thought, okay, it was a 46,000 liter trailer. I did that for the most of the runs, but when I get down to the last, I'll say, 30,000, 40,000, I thought, I would 
return return that one because was cost me some money. It was about two grand, I think, after I returned it. It was what I paid for leasing costs, which is okay, plus the initial upfront cost, which is about five thousand, I think. Um, that's all fine and dandy. So I returned that and grabbed this one and fill it up. And it's like, okay, I had another load to go. So I brought it down, dumped, dumped it off. But this time I was actually finished with what the, the, the customer needed. So everything that I've been dropping here now has been a profit. So uh, at the start of the episode, I had $57,000 roughly. Um, I bought the new chicken coop, which I'm going to show you here in a couple of moments. I bought, uh, or sorry, at least um, a trailer that wouldn't work on my pickup, so I had to buy a side by side. That was about 17 grand, which is okay. Um, and then I went and took on this contract. Uh, the contract was about 34,000 minus the maintenance and fuel costs and all that. Um, but once I found out how small this trailer was, the trailer was 40,000 and the um, harvester had 42,000. So instead of making like multiple, 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 multiple trips, I decided to go and rent a larger trailer, which is about 45,000. Still probably almost the same amount of trips as if I'd use this trailer, but that also meant that one trip would be one harvester. So that was fine and dandy. I went down to like 21,000. So I made about 18,000 selling off the, the excess sugar beet. Like I said, I have no use for it. So I'm just gonna drop this all off here, sell it away. And $148 for those, that literage, that's okay. And now I'm gonna go take this, con this uh, contract, this tractor back, drop it off. The harvester's still up at the field. Um, I marked that spot over there because I thought it would be a better spot to sell it, but I just ended up selling all the same spot. Um, I probably lost $20 for every thousand, which, meh, whatever. I could make that but some other time. Um, so now I'm going to take this trailer and this tractor back. Harvester, like I said, is still up at the, the field. I'll get the guys to go get that get that in the morning well of course they might still be there it's only six o'clock uh so yeah from uh 11 30 or so till now it took me that long to do the contract um so i'm just finishing up here put the blinker on unfortunately i wasn't even good to go down and see katie today i have to stop in tomorrow own all right Turn lights off, emergency brakes on, get out. All right, and uh, doesn't look like you're getting these home, so I'll drop it off through the tablet here. I'll get my truck, get that little worm. Uh, I don't even know what the, te the temperature is. Go well, it says it's 16 degrees, but for some reason I think that's wrong. And we're supposed to be above freezing all winter, but, well, might be one of those uh, El Ninos or El Ninos or something. That's all right. Oh, go back in here. Uh, where is the contract? Oh, I guess I went the wrong way. Uh, there, okay. So 32,000 is what I'll be clearing off the contract. And hit that, all right. Oh, so after everything was done and said, I guess I come ahead ten grand. All right, let's get this thing heading back up to the house. I still got the seed there too. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, let's pull the map up. And oh, I went. And oh, actually, uh, where is it? Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, geez, I can't find what I'm looking for. Uh, this. There. Oh. Okay, so that green marker's not there anymore. 
All right, let's head back up to the farm. You know, I didn't mind that contract. It was kind of boring at times, but it also uh, had like sloping, uh, sloping, sloping hillside. So going up and down, up and down. Kind of felt like I was on a really, really, really slow roller coaster. Oh, off into the ditch. Cruise control on. Right, let's get back up to the. the camera so we can see. There. I'm going 50. What do you want? The guy behind me. Right on my butt. Going 50. Never seems to be fast enough. You do the speed limit, they're right on your butt. You do 10 kilometers over the speed limit, they're on your butt. You do 20 kilometers over the, spe over the speed limit, they go by you. Doesn't make sense. Of course, people's on a hurry these days. <sighs> anyway, let's get on. Let's get home. Just, just reminds me. I haven't had anything to drink. I've had, I took a bottle of pop with me, but oh, I should stop. Uh, I guess I'm. You know, if I thought of it, I would have down by Katie's. I would have gone and got something to munch on. But of course, I didn't think of it. I just want to get home. Now there's a string of cars behind me. I swear, people are in too much of a hurry nowadays. Alright, my turn's coming up here. Put a blinker on, start slowing down. Slow down too much. Funny, this vehicle doesn't have high beams. All right. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to pull this in. Turn around in the morning. Okay, yeah. turn the flashlight on. Well, there's a little buggy that I bought, the side-by-side. -side. Uh, it's good for just around the yard stuff. Uh, that, like I said, it's got about uh, just under 500 liters capacity there, so... And I might take her out for a rip sometime. But really, I bought it for the farm so I could carry the feed back and forth. So here's our new chicken pen. They seem to like it. And then we can go around. Oh, let's get some cars. Go over here. And we can open this up. And turn the lights out. Okay, let's put night vision on. Here. Got some chickens in here already. It looks like they're. Uh, I think those eggs are decorative. I don't think my chickens are old enough to lay eggs yet. Close that back up. And we got this one over here as well. Uh, I like it. Like I said, it gives them at least a... Uh, uh, at least gives them a spot to go in out of the weather.
not sure what that noise is. If I stop here, can hear it here. I wonder if it's the. I never noticed. I wonder if it's just so sad. Yeah, I'm, uh, that's okay. I'm not gonna bother you. I wonder if it's the seed machines. These little gray things right here. Send seeds out. Well, I guess that's enough for for today. Um, I'm gonna head inside, grab something to eat. And I'm glad I'm I come ahead on everything. So, like I said, I guess I made 14 grand off everything. Yeah, I had uh, 57,000 when I started, roughly, and now I've got 71,000. So. I guess I was, did good taking that contract on and then selling everything and gonna head on in and I will talk to you all on the next adventure. Almost sounded like it was gonna rain. Have a good night everybody.